brothers, sisters, hello all. I see by your faces, everyone here is at ease and in high spirits here in God's house. It's different, isn't it? Zhou Zheng! Huh? Zhou Zheng! Wang Wairen! My old classmate. Yes, that's it's right. It's been quite a long while. Indeed. Goodness, just look at the color in your face. One look and I know you've been at ease. Yes, I have. I quite admire you, I have to say. Well, being a cop for years, you must have much to feel guilt about. No, no, no. By now, I'm quite used to guilt. But guess what? I'm now out of that. Hey, now. You mean you've finally gone straight? No, I could never do that. I have joined the service industry. Oh, wow. Mm. Now that's a hard line of work. Oh, yeah. It's much more difficult work. I have to bear the cold and heat no matter how exhausted without any complaint. I walk streets and haunt corners through every single slum and armpit I stop, saunter. Stop, stop, stop. Just what is your service? It's called tracking service. Tracking service. Mm. Who's this service for? You see, we solely serve believers in God. Ah. Especially believers in Almighty God. But the nation's constitution does guarantee its citizens religious freedom. Believing in God is legal. So why do you track them? That is illegal. It's Communist Party law, which means you may as well save your breath. Ah, good point. You ever heard of a pretty name, hmm? The CCP declares religious freedom to everyone abroad. Meanwhile, its domestic policy is to ban religious belief. But isn't that lying to the people of the world? Hey, hey, hey. You must watch your words. It's called strategy. Ah. Sun Tzu said, strategy is deception. Well, that's quite deceptive. Otherwise, how would the world see it? How would human rights organizations see it? How would China have any international standing at all? Reputation by deception. If it can get the reputation, do you believe the party minds deception? How can the Communist Party be that way? What way? So shameless. You see, we followers of Almighty God huh? pursue the truth and walk the right uh, path. Uh, but uh, the CCP... The government is cracking down hard on the Church of Almighty God. How is it you still believe? Belief in God is the right path in life. I'll follow God even if you oppress me. Now what? Do you intend to serve me as well? Come on, I'm just worried about you. That's all <laughs> it is. Don't worry about me then. Well, given that we're old classmates, hmm? I won't serve you. At least today I won't. Well, I hope that you'll never serve me. Hey, I'm trying to help him. We believers in God pursue to be honest. We fear God and shun evil, walk the right path. But the CCP perversely persecutes us all. Isn't that the absolute epitome of evil? Yes! Joe, Christians and communists. One of them is theist, the other atheist. One worships God, the other hates God. They're two completely different ideologies. How can we ever reconcile the two? I agree. One believes in God, the creator of heaven and earth and all things. Meanwhile, the other believes in the Satanist Marx. Good and evil can't unite. Tell us, what are the CCP's plans? <laughs> to construct an atheist paradise. That's quite ambitious. Fully banish religious faith. They'd especially like to banish none other than the Church of Almighty God. Why is it? The CCP so fears the Church of Almighty God. Why so particularly? <laughs> you don't know. Huh? Doesn't your church have a book that is called hmm? The Word Appears in the Flesh? We do. I hear that everything within it is the truth. Yes, it is. And what's more, after reading it, many hmm. then believe that Almighty God is the returned Lord Jesus. Yes, right. In just over 20 years, millions who have read it have now accepted Almighty God. Yes. So, of course, they're afraid. People will believe in Almighty God and not the CCP. Seems to me people are walking the right path of belief, and that seems to be the trend. Therefore, the CCP is terrified. Hmm. At least you're finally being honest. No matter what, the Communist Party will never allow belief in God. Instead, it will scheme and lie. It will scheme with the best of them. Ah, yes, that they will. Wait, they'll go, it's true. To any length. Also correct. Wait, not quite. I'm wrong? It's by any means. Uh, still scheming with the best of No them. matter. 
The CCP suppression of the Church of Almighty God is forever improving. Uh, Troops will remain till the ban is done. It's determined to banish the Church of Almighty God. Yep, that there sounds about right. Now think, just what else could our tracking service be for? That's why the government's tracking service for believers is totally multifaceted, comprehensive, and high-tech. Goodness, your service for believers is very complete, I have to say. <laughs> You're right. To track and to monitor believers, we have invested in quite advanced surveillance technology. That's how they use technology. China's cities are full of electronic eyes now. Surveillance. Cameras mm. cover every street, alley, and village intersection. It's fully comprehensive surveillance. They have the ultimate setup to catch believers in God. <laughs> That's nothing. Mm? We have a sensitive keyword database, too. What words are in it? If anyone, online or on the phone, mm. utters words like God or Lord, or even mentions the word faith, they are immediately heard and monitored. Uh. And then they're tracked and arrested. It's one-stop service. Well, now that's not service at all. That's human rights invasion, oppression of regular people. The government calls it something else. Uh. Listen up. Making society harmonious. Uh. The Communist Party's atheist. The people aren't allowed to believe. It's unharmonious, after all. That's just absurd. <laughs> as long as it ends religious belief, mm. what do all these little measures ultimately matter to the communist government? Surveillance cameras are everywhere. You call that a small measure? Oh, there's much more. There is? They proclaim you must use the masses to succeed in revolution. Mm. The police aren't enough. We need our little feet, too. And what exactly are little feet? They're little inspection teams, mm. the world's fifth largest master spy agency. Ah, you mean elderly men and women. Never mind that they're a bit older. Uh. Their eyes are sharper than anyone's. Yes. No matter where the target goes, who comes to the neighborhood, or who they visit, there's no escaping the retiree's roving eye. That's all true. Quite a few Christians have been reported and even sent to jail by these elderly spies. Hey... Want to know why it is these spies are so pliant and cooperative? It's pressure, right? I mean, isn't that an old communist favorite? Whoever disobeys gets punished. <laughs> Don't quite know the CCP, huh? There's conspiracy, too. If we can solve things just by moving our lips, then why would we ever bother moving our troops? As government, its duty is to understand the people. So it can serve the people so it can use them to the fullest. Now it shows its true <laughs> face. So, for example, you've got some old men and women, home with nothing to do, so therefore the government gives them some benefits, utters a few nice words, fans the flames. <clears throat> He'll perform now. Ah, Mr. Zhao. Yes? You did quite a lot of good work for us last month. The leaders are extremely impressed. And so, just remember our government's ideals. And keep an eye on Almighty God, followers. Come the time, the government will take very good care of you. And that's how they use them. It's <laughs> despicable. Thank you. What now? You're still the old man? Gotcha, Chief Liu. Do not worry. If anyone suspicious makes contact with them, I'll see and report right to you. That's just how they use them. <laughs> then you give them the red arm badge, and they'll run all over the city. They've never been officials, so they absolutely love it. Yay, status! But it's evil. The CCP leads people to resist God, so that when they die, they have company. You're right. That's a little immoral. Uh. Although, it does help in easing the problem of the unemployed population some. That is absolutely absurd. Hey, hey, hey. You should believe me. Sometimes we work with vagrants, with ruffians, tracking and surveilling you believers in God. You know... The government treats those lowlifes quite well. A union of cops and bandits. Wrong. Huh? It's an official alliance. Wow. Finally, an honest statement. The CCP gets everyone to spy on Christians, and that takes a lot of work. The government lacks a national vision, but it does have many different ways and means to govern. That sounds about right. For years, mm. the government has grasped the common people. What did it understand? For example... To govern, first you must know what the common people fear. Huh. 
What they fear is what you do, then see if they listen to you. But that's no government. That sounds more like the mob. Hey, know what common folk fear the most? Just what could it be? They're ordinary people, and like everyone, they want a peaceful life. It must be they fear problems. Right. So use that fear, and with some decisions, they're yours. What decisions? First, the five-house system. Find five neighbors, and you tie them together. Make them spy and report on each other. The minute that someone believes in God, they report it immediately, or else all five get dealt with. Dealt with how? Big fines, firings, uh, power stoppages, aye. and more. The government has its ways. That's low down, dirty, and despicable. Common folk, in order to avoid problems, open their eyes and keep vigilant watch. And with all those eyes on each other, they see which homes have believers. And if believers are gathering together and spread the gospel, they see all this so extremely clearly. It's turning the masses against each other. If foreign media ever caught wind of that method, it would be in all the headlines. I've already thought of theirs. How's it go? CCP has a new method to persecute religious believers. Five house system forces Chinese citizens to spy and report on Christians. It's true. It is harsh. But what to do? Can the Communist Party allow believers in God to dwell in its own backyard? No matter how the CCP persecutes the people, True believers won't be frightened by tyranny. So come what may, they will follow God until the end. That's something I've seen with my very own eyes. Mm. Believers in Almighty God truly have wills of steel. Please explain. In the Communist Party's words, you are God-ized people. And that is the result of the work of God. You know, with you believers in God, the government arrests you openly and in secret. It sentences you to hard labor, tortures and kills you. They're so evil. Nonetheless, you still mm. resolutely follow God. You spread the gospel and testify God. It's because we have faith. Our leaders worry. Mm. So they give us big quotas. Ah. Hit them and get rewards. Miss them and get punished. That's a desperate situation. It certainly is. To arrest believers in God, we've tried disguises, uh, ruses, uh, selling tea leaves, enough of repairing that. air conditioners, enough. Enough. posing as... Stop already! To arrest us believers in Almighty God... You've used countless despicable methods. What can I say? We're desperate here. You're desperate. What's been your results? Results, you say? Uh -huh. I don't want to share. And why is that? Here, listen. Hey, hey, enough. Come on, <clears throat> what are you doing? Last year, we were trying to reel in quite a big catch. So I followed a leader of the Church of Almighty God. And so he followed. From morning to evening, I followed her all hours of the day. Sounds like you really gave it his all. Then one night, I saw her enter a farmer's house. I crouched by the wall to wait. And that winter wind was so bitterly cold. He's working straight through the winter. After two hours, she still hadn't come out. I was cold and hungry. Well, you had it coming, didn't you? Then, huh? the door. It opened then? And an old woman came outside, uh -huh. holding a bowl of water. I heard... Whoosh splash! All over the ground? All over my face! Good! Ugh. It didn't smell quite right. What did it smell like? It smelled like stinky feet. She dumped foot bath water all over his face. <laughs> you deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> you should just go home. Stop watching her. Just stop. You gonna watch for me? Oh, right. Your boss wants results. Yeah, I had to stay. Hmm. So that's when uh, I used some advanced technology. What stupid trick now? I found her electric bike, uh, and I installed a tracking device. Tracking device? Yeah. Wherever she goes, whenever she goes, we can find her. And did you find her? I did. Oh, so you found her. It was Friday. Uh, the time mm. of her weekly meeting. They've detailed files. Zoom. The electric bike took off fast. <laughs> this time, I'd really keep an eye on her. Once she got to her meeting, I had to also be there. And then catch her red-handed. He gets so excited. Well, I looked. Huh. The bike passed down Main Street, then turned on Maple, past Jaifeng Road, past Chai Li Tun Street. She arrived. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Her meeting place was far away. I thought, this must be important. I needed patience. So I followed. Followed, 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 okay. followed, followed. Okay, fo okay, okay. Doesn't this journey end? Then. Huh? 
She stopped. She stopped. She did. So I raced right on over. Huh. No one was going to stop me from catching this fish. And then what happened next? What did you see over there? Get over here. Huh? Yeah. You no good little schmuck. Of all the bikes out there, you had to steal hers. I get it now. Her electric bike got stolen. <laughs> you ruined my stakeout. Huh? Now you're going to get this. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> hey, 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 enough. I was mad. You deserve frustration. Wong Warren, listen to me. It's time to wake up. By working for the CCP to oppress believers, you're helping them do evil. Aren't you worried about payback? Hey, you think I want to be doing such horrible things? Every day I'm sneaking around in fear, terrified of what's next. It's awful. I've had it with this. So get out of this line of work, then. I can't get out. When you work for the CCP, you must shed every last ounce of strength. Wealth means more to him than his life. You know, hmm. these last years, I've come to grasp something. What do you grasp now? Even though the CCP suppresses the Church of Almighty God, the Church's gospel has spread all over China and abroad, despite its efforts. That is true. If you ask me, there's nothing that can stop the growth of the Church of Almighty God. That's right. That is the undeniable effect of God's work. God himself leads the Church of Almighty God. The CCP's persecution is its struggle as it hangs itself. Now that's for sure. No matter how it persecutes, it can't halt the spread of the gospel of God's kingdom, nor change the will of God's chosen to pursue the truth or turn toward the light. I'd say so too. The CCP goes against heaven and history, and so will suffer God's righteous punishment. Almighty God says, we trust that no country or power can stand in the way of what God wishes to achieve. Those that obstruct God's work, resist the word of God, disturb and impair the plan of God, shall ultimately be punished by God. You scared now? Seems like I do need a new job. If I keep this up, perhaps I'll be severely punished. Looks like he's finally learning. <sighs> huh? Huh? One moment. Huh? What's yeah. the call about? Hey. Looks like someone needs service. Uh, hey, hey, what about getting a new job? New job? Yeah. Who'd pay my salary? And he chooses money over life. We'll talk about it after I've finished. Hey, 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 wait, come back. We still have to do the bow together. <laughs> 